Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I am doing the the little Aaron cardigan for my friend, for her great granddaughter. Now her, this was the last order I got. I still have two more of these to do. But this is my friend. Am I going to get my cardigan? off you before Christmas I says yes you will get this cardigan before Christmas but we've only got the next Thursday when you, you know when we're going to the bingo are you bringing it up then I said to her you know what Anne yours was the last order I got I says I have two more of these to do with two hats I have four newborn baby cardigans to do, but the lady's not in a hurry for those, so they can wait. And I shouldn't be doing yours now, but I am sick of you asking me if I'm going to get it done in time for Christmas. I wouldn't have took the order off you if I couldn't. She thinks because we are friends that I'll just drop everything and put her before everyone else's. The other two I've got, my friend, is her friend as well. It's a good job she doesn't mind. Because I was just sick of my friend. I just want to get this finished and give it to her. Well, that's friends for you, isn't it? And anyway, I'm nearly up to the armholes on the, um, the back. But I had started another one. I started this. This is for for our, for our our other friend. I had started this one on Sunday when I was at my granddaughter's. But um, we're finishing off the one for um Val, and that I didn't have um time to do any more of that one. So, and I just finished Val's yesterday, and I will show you what it looks like. I did put a picture up on my Instagram. Um, and it also goes, my Instagram is linked to my Facebook um, page, so it goes on to there as well. Well, I took the photograph on the night time, it was because I had, it took me right up until about five o'clock yesterday to finish it. I didn't have time to get to the um, the post office because by the time I had got it finished and that, and then if I had to get to the post office, it was only open till half five. And I wasn't going to take the chance on missing it by the time I got there so, so I'd have to wait until today which it was today but I took a photograph of a, on, on the night time and it is a silver grey and white mixture of mould but it came out like a beige on the um, the photograph it looks an entirely different colour to what it actually um, is so I took another photograph this morning before I wrapped it up to to show you the finished effect what it actually looks like and actually the grey and white the two strands that I knitted comes out like a mole but just does not show on the photograph you have to actually see the actual cardigan to see how it comes out so I'm going to show you that I'm busy crossing over cables here. So that was Val's mum's cardigan and it's on its way to her now because I did go to the post office the, this afternoon and got it posted off. And when I went to the post office, the last time I went out walking over it was very icy. And it was very slippy on their foot and I had to be very careful when I was walking. Well, I looked on um, Facebook and I found a little something somebody put on. I think it was Facebook. I'm not sure. It might have been YouTube, but I think it was Facebook. Where this lady put on um, about putting a pair of socks over your shoes. Because she says the material of the socks actually grips the snow and the ice and it stops you from slipping. 
Well, when I was walking, going to walk over the post office today, we have had a fall of snow yesterday, quite a bit actually. But I thought I'm going to try what that lady um, said, because I was really frightened of slipping. I had to walk on the grass and look for anywhere where there was grass or rough bits of ground so that I wouldn't slip, because it didn't matter how hard I try, and it took me twice as long to walk to the post office because I was going very slow and making sure that I was going to slip. So I went upstairs before I went out and I thought I'm looking for, to find an old pair of socks. But you know I couldn't find a pair of socks that would fit over my shoe, they were too tight. But then I had this bag with things in that I was going to throw out. I had been sorting what I call rubbish and there was an old pair of slippers that I had crocheted couple of years ago and I think I'd worn them until they were getting worn out actually. Now, oh I wonder if they'll fit over my shoes. So I stretched them and pulled them on the lid to fit over my shoes perfect. So I tested them first. I went out in the, um, the path in the back garden and I tried to, to slip my feet on in the wooden bush hardly. You know I had to really to slide, I had to really push my feet hard. I thought, oh, well, that's good, that. So I put them on and I started. They covered my whole shoe. You couldn't see my shoe. <laughs> so I started walking over to the um, to the post office with the um, the parcel for the centre valve. And there was an old lady. Well, I'm seeing old, I'm an old lady. <laughs> she was probably about the same age as me. And she was walking with a stick and uh, it is a little bit easier walking on snow than it is on ice. But there is a lot of ice underneath the snow. And the snow, we've had some sunshine today and the, um, the snow is starting to melt a little bit. But she was with a walking stick and she was very careful and very slowly walking, you know. And she's seen me coming up and she's seen to me. Oh, on earth are you out on your slippers, she says. You shouldn't have slippers. I say, I've got my shoes underneath them. And I told her all about it, like, and she says, I'm not far from my house. I'm going to go back in and find myself a pair of socks to put on, she says, because she says, this is terrible trying to walk on um, this. So anyway, she was happy. She went back home and I never saw her again, like, but um, I kept on walking because it's about nearly a 15 minute walk. Between 10 and 15 minutes, it depends how fast I walk to the post office from my house. So when I got in the post office, there was uh, one or two people in, you know, and I got some funny looks. <laughs> and <laughs> there was a little girl with her mum and then she was whispering to her mum and they were looking down and, and um, her mother actually and looking at her and she saying, are you wearing slippers? I says, yes, but I says my shoes are underneath them. And I explained to her why, and you know, I've given a lot of people an idea. We could be seeing a lot of people walking around with with socks on the um, top of their shoes. Next time I'm out, um, as long as we've got the snow and ice on the, um, the ground. But it was really good. It did really. I tried to push my feet to make them slip and they wouldn't slip. The only problem was I noticed straight on the snow with it being melting a little bit soft. It was starting to build up on the bottom of my bottom of my feet on the bottom of the slippers and I was heavy so often I was having to keep rubbing my foot backwards and forwards on the um the ground to get the clumps of snow off the uh <laughs> but that's a really good idea for anybody, especially someone my age who you know a fall is worse for us at our age than it is when you're younger, you can break anything <laughs> before. So that was a nice idea and I'm glad I saw that on um, Facebook. I might have got some funny looks but it was worth it. And now I'm going to knit as fast as I can to get this finished before my friend messages me again. I think the very first time she messaged me after she gave me the order a couple of days. Have you started on my cardigan yet? No. <laughs> hey, honestly, you'll think you've got nothing else to do. But at least when I finish these, I'll be able to get on to some of my own because I do want to. But, uh, 
to knit some things for my son. Some more cardigans and some more sweaters. And anything else. And I do want to, to use up some of my little bits to crochet some little bags. I do want to, I do have a little bag like this that I keep all my things, bits and pieces as bits of, you know, stitch marker things and scissors and, you know, for whole stitch holders and things. But I've got all my crochet hooks in here as well. Now, every time I want a crochet hook, I've got to empty everything out of here because just looking in like this, I can never find it, never find what I want. So I'm going to make myself probably a smaller one, about half the size of this one. Not not quite as high up as that with a um, little zip on. And just to put my crochet hooks in. I only have one set of crochet hooks. I'm not one of these people that has all different kinds of hooks. The ordinary ones, just like that. Them ones are quite happy for me to use. I'm not bothered about all those different ones with what I call handles on and different shapes and everything. I don't know why, but it doesn't make any difference what crochet hook you use. It's how you crochet what your things come out as. All these people that have all these different sets of crochet hooks are mad. I know what works for me. But anyway, I had a visit on Tuesday from one of my sub -sub subscribers. That's a tongue twister to me sometimes. That was Carol, who I did the little doll's pram blankets for. And it was lovely meeting that lady. We got her on like a house on fire. We were really chatting. It's a pity she had a car waiting for her outside with the engine running somebody. So, or she would have been there a bit longer, but we were chatting away and really got on well. And I wish we lived a bit closer. And she does live live over the water from where um, I live. So, but it was really nice meeting one of my sub, sub one of my subscribers. I seem to keep getting twisted every time I try to say that word. <laughs> and I did tell her I met another one of my subscribers um, quite some time ago, and Barbara, her name was, and. She lives local to where I live, like, and I took a little cardigan down to her one time. And when I went, you know, went up to meet her, you know, she said to me, you don't look like you. I, just, I sort of burst out laughing. I says, well, I am me. She says, it must be the camera then. And I mentioned that to, um, to Carol and she said the same thing. So I don't know whether I look better on camera than I do in real life, but... I can't help what I look like in real life and I can't help what I look like on the camera because that's the way it comes out. But anyway, that's my bit for today. I'm going to sit and knit, knit as quick as I can and get this cardigan finished before my friend messages me again. <laughs> so, thumbs up and subscribe. Thumbs up and subscribe. I'll catch you all again sometime, so bye for now.